Hello, good morning. We're back at it again, taking down some dead ash trees. I've got about 10 out here that I've marked with some paint to make sure I get the right ones without getting ones that aren't dead. This will probably mark about the maybe 20th that I've taken down around here. These are all dead from the, again from the emerald ash borer. Anyway, we've got a several in here. We're just going to lay them down right on the grass here. We'll cut them up for firewood, get that out of here. We'll park the branches for a while until we get them all down and bring a chipper in and take care of the rest of it. So anyway, let's get started. For this project today, I'm going to use my old still 026. This darn thing I bought probably 20 plus years ago, and I have not done a doggone thing to it. Don't take the gas out of it in the winter and it still runs just perfect. So we're, we sharpened it up and we're going to use this one today to take these down. Do a little exercise. This tree's got a little bit of a lean on it going that way and most of the weight is going that way on the upper limbs. Um, I've got the house right there so I definitely won't want it to go that way. So we're just going to pull it over there a little bit and we should just be fine. <laughs> Alongside that, uh, right, right alongside this other one here. wood there. Oh well, went where we wanted it anyway. Okay, ready for number three here. And this one's got a little more of a lean on it than the other two, but I don't want to hit that cedar, so I want to try to pull it over here just a little bit. So we'll see how we do here.
Okay, this one here, I'm going to try to pull it over this way a little bit so it serves that fir tree or that cedar tree there. And I think I can do that. It's kind of got a little bit of a lean, but it's basically leaning right toward that fir, that cedar tree, and I don't want it to hit that. So I'm going to try to pull it over this way just a shade. So we'll see how we can do that. anything out of it so we'll call that success. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here too but this one's going to have to go right between that fir tree or those two cedar there's two cedar trees here this one's going to have to go right between them. So let's do that one. <laughs> Okay, by golly, we got these five trees pretty much about exactly where we wanted them. I wanted to kind of save those little cedar trees there. They'll probably grow a little bit better now they got these damn things out of the way, even though they were dead, been dead for a couple years. Uh, but anyway, now we got to. I cleaned up the limbs and whatnot on the first two and got them piled over there, ready for a chipper. And we'll go ahead and clean these up. And I've got a few more right in there and another one over there and we got plenty of these dead ash trees to go around here so we made a pretty good dent in it today though okay well that is still 026 worked pretty good I don't want to be at this all day bucking these things up so we're gonna step her up a notch here and go with a little more power this should walk through these ash trees pretty quick. Make short work of it, get this bucked up. Okay, we've kind of got this project wrapped up. Took down eight trees. These five here, and then there were three over there. And I borrowed my buddy's tractor and pushed all this stuff up, all the rounds up here by this tree. And we've had several folks come today, put it on a little local uh, Facebook group page for free firewood and Craigslist. and. We've had some several folks come in and help themselves, so we're 
hopefully we've got some more coming tomorrow and we're going to be done with this project. I was able to use another one of my saws on this project. This is a CP70 and great little saw, but for some reason this particular one does not have a compression release on it and you've got to be ready to crank on that thing because it's got a lot of compression. Anyway, that works great. So we're going to wrap this project up. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Stay tuned because we've got some more ash trees that are going to be coming down. We've got to use a man lift on some others.